Happy Hanukkah, everyone. Welcome to Neely Hanukkah Sparks. My name is Emma Katz, and I'm the director of Neely. If I were to ask you what the main miracle of Hanukkah is, most people would answer that it is the Nes Pach Hashemen, the miracle of the oil, that one small jug of oil that was meant to last for just one night, lasted and lit up the Beis HaMikdash for eight whole nights. But this is the second miracle that happens in the Hanukkah story. The first is that of defeating the Greek army, that the small Jewish army was able to defeat the great Greek army. My question is, why, if Hashem had already helped us to defeat the Greek army, did he feel that he had to do the second miracle for us, which was to the Nes Pach Hashemen? Just having defeated the Greek army would have been plenty. This would have fit into our formula well. They tried to kill us. We defeated them. Now let's eat. This, it would have been perfectly fine if we stopped there. Why did we also need this miracle of light? And to answer this question, I be believe we have to look at the deeper significance of light. To understand this, I want to look at Sefer Mishlei. In Mishlei, it says, Ki ner mitzvah v'torah or. That mitzvot are compared to candles and Torah to light. Why is that? The Ibn Ezra explains there that just as a candle can guide you through a dark night, so too the Torah guides you through life. The Torah is our blueprint for the world, and it shows us how to go through life. Now, based on this understanding, what does that have to do with the holiday of Hanukkah? Why did Hashem clearly want to bring this idea of light into this holiday of Hanukkah? And to answer this, I want to look at a Pasuk in Kohelet, which states that wisdom is greater than foolishness, while light is better than darkness. What? What is this Pasuk talking about? The Mitsuda David asks this question and says, why do we need to know? Obviously, wisdom is better than foolishness, and light is better than darkness. But even more... If we were going to have wisdom and light in this world, why did Hashem then create darkness and foolishness? Why couldn't he have just left us with light and wisdom? And the Mitsuda David gives us a profound answer, which is that sometimes we do not appreciate wisdom until we see it in comparison to foolishness. And sometimes we do not appreciate light until we see it in comparison to darkness, that they are only appreciated in comparison to their opposites. Martin Luther King Jr. said, only when it's dark enough can you see the stars. And I believe that this is the message that we can use to understand the significance of light in the context of Hanukkah. That just as Martin Luther King said, which is truly a commentary on the Mitzu David, that we sometimes only appreciate the light in our lives when it gets dark enough. That preceding the Hanukkah story, the outside influences of the world had slowly, slowly been creeping into the Jewish people. People were slowly slipping away from Torah and mitzvot and being influenced by the Greek culture around them. However, it wasn't until they were truly taken over by the Greek empire and their beliefs and their core values were challenged, did they truly re realize the necessity for light in their lives? It was only once it became so dark that they were able to appreciate the light of Torah. And this answers our original question. Why, if Hashem had already helped them to defeat the Greek army, did we also need the Nes Pach Hashemen? Because it was at that point that the Jewish people appreciated that they needed the Torah in their lives. It wasn't enough to extinguish the Greek army. Rather, they had to reignite their lives. They had to bring this light of Torah back into the Mikdash, back into their center of their lives. This Hanukkah, may we appreciate before we have this darkness, what we have in the light, that may we not only appreciate the Torah by comparison to what's around it, may we recognize the inherent value and the beauty in this light of Torah in our lives. Thank you for joining. We look forward to learning together throughout all of Hanukkah.